Good morning, everyone, and welcome to Financial Management, the most difficult course in Georgian College. I'm kidding. Um, while I do say that, I feel like it is one of the most important courses. And throughout this course, you'll learn a lot about money management, how to read financial statements. Um, and let me tell you, these are one of the most important things that you can do for your own personal budgets, um, but as well in your business, whether you're an owner, a manager, or any kind of supervisory role. Um, like I said before, my name is Stephen Hilborn, and I'll be leading you through this course. Um, my office hours are upon request. I am always available for meetings. Um, this is the WebEx here that you'll be using, so feel free to just click on that and also email me, request meetings, and we can jump in together. Uh, there are two sections of courses. Um, Mondays from 12 p.m. to 3 p.m., and that's section two or seven. And section three is Tuesdays from, actually, I believe it's Wednesdays from 11 till 2 p.m. Now, this particular course uh, goes through a bunch of different things. Basically, what we'll be looking at is all the different financial statements. We'll be looking at hospitality industry specific financial statements, forecasting of financial requirements, measurement of management performance. So as a manager in this industry, how might you be measured um, as far as what your responsibilities and if you're living up to them? Uh, the concept of budgeting, working capital, cash management and ratio analysis will all be introduced. We'll also have a, a little fun stock uh, assessment game uh, or a simulation game. It will not be worth marks. But let me tell you this. There is one group of people. They make money. Um, they get their weekly paycheck and they pay their bills and they might do okay. But then there's another group of people who get their weekly paycheck. They put in the bank. They invest that money and they start creating more money with the money that they have invested. It's passive income, and it is the only way to really get ahead in life. That and lottery tickets. So um, we will be talking about stock simulators. Uh, it's a really fun way for you to, in a no risk environment, invest in the stock market, stocks, bonds, whatever you want, uh, and see how you might do. I have both lost and made a lot of money, depending on the time of the year. Uh, but as a really good example, in this last three months for myself personally, I have made off of about 20,000, I have made an additional $10,000 in a few months, which is more than like what I'm keeping for my paycheck or saving for my paycheck. So in tandem with all of the things that we learn here today or learn here through the next 13 weeks, I also want you to start understanding how money um, moves and how you can manipulate it in your favor. So more than a good mark in this course, we hope to have good financial health. Sorry for the rant. Um, there is no specific text for this particular course, but there is a text that should you really seem to struggle. Um, it's $26 or $29 and you can get it from any chapters or indigo and it will help you but I will provide you with as much information as possible. There are six different learning outcomes that I want you to be able to reach. Uh, and that's, first of all, determining the impact of changes in revenue and costs on net income. Um, pre prepare comparative and common size income statements and balance sheets. Interpret the results of some of these major financial statements. Uh, calculate annual revenue required to make sure your business can be successful. Um, again, we're going to apply this to our own personal lives. How much money do I need to make to survive and save and invest and do the things I want to do? Um, calculate some break-even points and target uh, profit quantities. And uh, finally, prepare a statement of cash flow. Money in, money out. Um, so that's really important in a business as well. Uh, as far as the amount of money that you have on hand is, is just as important as the amount of money you make over the entire year. These are the, the nine different course content uh, major elements of this course. And we will now go through um, the week to week schedule of activities to give you an idea of how we're going to break this down. So previously, there used to be in class assignments that were all worth two to five percent, and there was 10 of them. Um, 
we've moved away from that format a little bit. And instead, what we're going to do is bundle these assignment packages together. So there's three assignment packages. Uh, the first one being worth 20% and the next two being worth 15%. And there's also three tests. The first one being worth 20% and the next two being worth 15. Uh, and the reason that we do this is the first assignment package and the first test will have a little bit more content than the other ones. So going into our schedule of, of activities, I'll go through the first um, five weeks up until our first test. And then I'll post another video as we go through and continue on. Um, so the very first week, what we'll be doing is we'll have understanding financial statements. This will be a pre-recorded lecture. So I will have two videos every single week. The first video will be a pre-recorded lecture of um, what that week's material is. The next video will me being going through a financial calculation of some sort, what you will see in your assignment package um, as a practice. And I'll show you how I do it. All of these will be completed using Excel. And then when we actually have our live class, which will be either the Monday or the Wednesday, that is the time for you to drop in. Um, I'll go through the actual uh, in-class practice assignment with you again if you need it. I will not re-lecture the entire uh, pre-recorded lecture to you. That's a waste of time. Rather, what I'll be doing is helping you ensure that you understand it. Okay, so it's a question and answer period. It's a work period. Um, you don't need to come. If you fully understand and you feel like you're confident, then, then you're fine. Then continue on in your other courses. But if you're struggling, please come and let's go through it all. Uh, week two, we're going to continue understanding financial statements and go through the accounting equation, uh, direct and indirect direct costs, and then also talk about inventory valuation methods. And then again, we'll have our live class Monday or Wednesday uh, to see if you understand the uh, valuations. Week three, it's a contributory income, uh, same thing. And then on week four, we will be doing common size statements and vertical and horizontal analysis. This might all sound like gibberish to you right now, but as you see me do the practice assessments or in-class exercises, and then you do your actual assignment, you'll see it all come together. Um, the assignment package will be due by Sunday at midnight, uploaded to Blackboard under the assignments tab, and this one is worth 20%. And then on week five, you will have your first test, which will be through Blackboard uh, and also worth 20%. So, um, it kind of is portioned off into three sections or chunks. This first chunk is five weeks uh, long. Then the next one, week six, seven, eight, new material tested on week nine. And then week 10, 11, 12, new material tested on week 13. All right. So um, once we complete the one of these chunks or sections, you can kind of put it aside. You're not going to be testing on that anymore and we can move on to the new stuff. Uh, to give you an idea of what the assignment package will look like, here's one right here. So this is the, an assignment package that we've created. So this will be for the first four weeks, um, and it is going to be all through Excel. Now, uh, Excel, if you know how to use it, it's an extremely useful, amazing tool. If you don't really know how to use it, it can be somewhat uh, difficult. Um, so the very first thing that you'll do on week one, while there will be a lecture, I'll also go through Excel a little bit with you as well. So as an example of an assignment package, on week one, you will have to complete an income statement. So here I will give you all of the numbers that you have to work with, and then all of the yellow uh, spots or yellow highlighted cells are where I expect an answer. And you can see that this is going to be out of 48. Now, it's okay if you don't complete this right away, but all of this will be due at the end of week four. So um, if you want to work ahead and you feel confident, you, you can try. If you want to keep a couple weeks together and say, okay, next week I'll do week one and two, and then before I submit, I'll do week three and four, that's up to you. Um, as long as you understand on week four, all of these will have to be completed. So week two, there's a balance sheet activity as well as inventory valuations. Week three, there's a contributory uh, income statement. And then week four, 
is the horizontal and vertical analysis, and that will be it. Again, all of these yellow sections is where I'm looking for an answer. So that will be worth 15%, and that is all of um, the assignment for our first section of the course. Sorry, go back to my syllabus. Other than that, um, the stock assessment or the stock simulation, that'll be located in weekly learning as well. I'll have some instructions and in how you go through and manage it. I, I want you to all be a part of it. You don't have to be. Um, if it's just too much to, to watch and to maintain, that's fine as well. Um, but basically, it's a valuable tool for the rest of your life. And while college is important and what we learn in class is important, there's also other lessons that we can take from this. So with that being said, I will leave you. This has uh, been 11 minutes. I look forward to this semester with you all. It can be a difficult class, but it can also be a really valuable class. And we will have weekly meetings. So to make sure you, you all stay uh, up to date and in the know of what's happening in this course. So for now, uh, I say goodbye, stay safe, and I will see you on January 18th or January 20th.